In this training video, we're going to look at using hyperlinks within Microsoft Project. Now, you can add a hyperlink to the entire project at project summary task level, and you can also do it in an individual task level. So, I'm going to start off at project summary task level. So, with me being in the indicator column, the I column, in line with the project summary task, I can now right click link down the bottom and I can link this to a, a folder structure, a file. My advice would be to link it to a folder structure because a folder structure you can put in multiple files. So I'm going to link in this example to a folder structure. So link and I've got some just dummy, dummy stuff to use. So I'm going to go to my desktop And I'm going to link to a folder here, which is all about project training files. And this has a folder structure inside it. So I'm going to click OK. And there's the hyperlink. All I've got to do now is click with the hand to go and see what's inside the hyperlink. And I'm going to say yes to this. I know it's a safe file. And here we go. So it's now linked to a folder structure. So this folder has multiple other folders and each one has files in them. So you can see how many files you could bring into a project by having a folder structure. There's more files, more files again. And you can see how many files could be in one project if you needed all of these files. And more again. So I'm going to close that folder structure down. I'm back in project. I now might want to put it at task level. I'm going to put one in at the job shortlisting task. Same idea, right click, link. Again, I'm going to go to an existing file. I'm going to go to the desktop. And I'm just going to use a, another dummy file, this, this time a PDF. Click OK. And there's another link. Now I can click on it. And I'll click yes because I trust it. And it's just waiting for the response of this file. And here it comes. And there's a course outline. So it's a PDF file, which is a course outline. And that's now hyperlinked. I'll close this down. I get rid of this hyperlink. I can right click on the, come down to the bottom hyperlink. And I can clear. But you notice it only clears the one. The other one is still here. And if I then test the one that's remaining, this one now take me back to the folder structure again. And here we go. I'll just test one of them, show all the files. There they are. I'm going to close it down. And I'll just finally also get rid of the hyperlink in this particular project summary level. And this now completes the training video on the use of hyperlinks, whereby at the project summary level, you put in a hyperlink for a whole folder structure, which could be useful for lots of documents you need for the project about decision making minutes it could be any kind of drawings that needed for the project and also we looked at a hyperlink at task level so they can be put in at any kind of level but this completes the training video on the use of hyperlinks and also how to clear hyperlinks in a project in microsoft project if you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe to our channel
hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.